Hello, Linda from Baladi's Body Blitz and here's little Minnie in her new donut bed. Today we're doing 15 minute tone glutes. We're going to be using a booty band. So I've got a fabric resistance band. If you don't have one of these, you can definitely still use the latex one or you can use a Pilates band and tie it into a loop. Or if you have none of that, just do it without. We're going to be doing 15 rounds today, 50 seconds of work with 10 seconds in between. I will always show you the next exercise for the 10 seconds, but you can take the break. I'm going to elevate some of my glute bridge work up on the sofa, my feet up on the sofa. You don't have to do that. You can definitely do it on the floor. But if you have a sturdy chair or a sofa or even a wall handy, you can elevate with me and it will definitely increase the intensity a lot. We will be doing some exercises lying on our tummy. So if your floor isn't very soft, you might want to have an extra yoga mat here to make sure your hip bones don't dig into that floor. Are you ready? We're going to get straight into it. We're going to put our loop on just above the knees and we're going to keep it there for the majority of the workout. For the very first exercise, we're going to put our feet up in parallel position and just do glute bridge. So let's put our feet up. Make sure your tummies are in and you're about 90 degrees and you're just going to come up, squeeze and tuck and down. So I want you to squeeze and slightly tuck your hips to ribs and come down. Now you want your feet wide enough apart that you feel the tension of the loop on your thighs. Okay, so this is up, squeeze and tuck, and down. And I cannot see my timer where I put it. And down. Up, squeeze and tuck. Squeezing from the underside of the glute, tucking the hips slightly will help to increase that intensity in the squeeze and down, up, squeeze and tuck. Push out slightly on that band every single time you come up there and down. And the beauty of interval workouts is you can go at your own pace, okay? I'm just gonna hold my timer. The next one, we're going to push out on that band, keep our hips slightly elevated, come up, straighten one leg, come down, come up, straighten the other leg, come down. So you're still tucking those hips towards the ribs. You're pushing out on the band, coming down a little bit, not all the way this time. Up, straighten the leg and down. Keeping your hips parallel. Up and squeeze and down. You should be starting to feel a bit of hamstring as well if you are elevating on a surface like me. So every time you come up, Tuck and squeeze the underside of the glute. Up and down. Up and down. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Now we're going to come up. Heels are together and our legs are, our thighs are apart. We're coming up out and slightly in. Out and slightly in. You're staying up. You're squeezing the underside of your glutes. You're going out with those legs as much as you can, slightly in. Keep the tuck. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Out, slightly in. Squeeze, push against your heels. That's gonna help you to get an even more of that squeeze in the lower side of the glutes. If you need to come down for a second, I understand you can do that and then come straight back up when you're ready. Really push out on that band. Glute medius here, the outer side of the glute, as well as underside. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. Squeeze it. Two and one. We're gonna take the band off for a second because I want a larger range of, the motion, of motion. We're gonna come up, then weave under, open our hips, and up. Weave the leg under and up. So you're tilting your hip to the front and then back to the ceiling. To the front and back to the ceiling. Stay up high on your shoulders and up. We're changing it in three, two, and one. Now go under, extend to the side. Under, extend to the side. The hip stays open. Poking through to the back. Extend to the front. Poking through to the back. 
extend to the front. If this is too much elevated, then just come down onto the floor with the other leg. Poke through to the back, extend to the front. The other leg is in isometric hold. Poke through and extend. Nice job. We're doing the same thing to the other side. So if you're moving away from the sofa or support, so you're coming up. We're poking through to the front this time. Up, poke through. So your hip is to the ceiling. Now your hip is turning to the side wall, or the back wall in my case. And turn. Squeeze, and through. Squeeze, last time this one. And now we're gonna go extend to the side. Poke it through. Your hip stays open towards the back wall and poke it through. Extend long to the side and poke it through. And poke. Try and stay up, isometric hold through this other leg and poke it through. Extend to the side, poke it through. Last time, put on your loop again. Same spot, just above the knees. We're gonna come up to our highest position. Squeeze and tuck, and now pulse out, out, out. You're just staying here. Hold that squeeze, highest position. So you really tuck your hips to ribs, and you really feel the underside of your glutes squeeze, and push out, out, out. Out, out, out. We're changing position after this. Out, out, out. Come on, you can do it. Really push up high. Pulse against that resistance. It's more out, more out. Hardly any in. We're gonna use our mat next underneath our hips and lay on our front. Four, three, two, and one. Don't worry if you lose a few reps, it's perfectly normal. So we're going to lay on our front and all we're doing is wide legs, heels in and out. So I want your thighs up off the mat. You're pushing out with both legs so you feel the tension of that loop and you're just coming in, feet together and extend and tap down. Blow out as your legs come in. Breathe in at the bottom. You can even rest your head here on your hands if you want to. This is all about lower body. Come in and extend. In and extend. Try to keep those thighs up. I know it's tough. Last time. Okay. Now we're gonna do in, in, out, out. So we're gonna raise up, we're gonna come in and in, out and out, then other side, in and in, out and out. So just keep changing sides. Doesn't matter if you get messed up. In and in, out and out. Keep that push out on that band. I know it burns like crazy. If you have a heavy fabric loop like I do, you're feeling this right now. You're welcome. Positive torture for those glutes and thighs. In and in. Out and out. In and in. Out and out. I know it hurts. Out and out. It's just lactic acid, people. We're nearly done with this round. In and in. Out and out. Last one, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to be slightly kinder to you. We're going to bring our toes in. We're just going to go out and in. So out, push on the band, then in actually releases the band. Out and in. Push out and in. So out and up, in and down. Out and up, in and down. So this one's definitely easier but I want you to focus on really lifting high as you go out and squeezing not only out on the band, but squeeze your heels together. In and down, up and out, in and down. Come.
Yeah, man. Oh, this is glute medius, this outside part of the glute here. Really feeling it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, we're gonna separate our legs, flex our feet. We're gonna go up with one, up with the other, okay? Come on. Tummies are in. Up with one, up with the other. Up with one, so you're using the leg that's on the mat to anchor the band. So you have more resistance to push against with the other side. Squeeze. Now, do you want to bring your heels in closer to your butt? So you get a bit more hamstring in there? Why not? Squeeze and up. Up with the other. Squeeze. Squeeze. Come on. Breathe. Up. Up, push, get up as high as you can, up, really squeeze the underside of the glutes as you push up, push up, okay, bring your heels together, your feet are flexed this time, we're coming up, we're staying up, just little pushes out, this one's going to kill, okay, stay up, push out, out, out. You're pressing against your heels. There's a gap between your thigh and the mat. Do not rest down. You need to be doing this with me right now because I am in it, so you need to be in it. Push against the heels, push out on the loop. Out, out, out. If you want to reshape your glutes, you need to be doing things that you haven't done before. You need to be going beyond where you've gone before. Otherwise, you're going to stay the same. You can't keep doing workouts at the same intensity, people. You need to really feel it. And if you start to get a cramp like I just did, just shake it out and out, out, out. Oh my goodness, people, four, three. I hope you're doing this as much as I'm doing it. Okay, so now we're gonna stay on one side, anchor the other leg. If you wanna put your toe down, you can. We really need to anchor the knee down though. We're gonna go up and out, up, and out, up and out. Anchor with the other leg. Heel up and side. Come on, up and side. So you're going up, staying up. Keep your leg off the mat. Do not drop it. Up and side, up and side. You can point here if you prefer. Come on, up and side, up and side. Keep your legs stick straight behind the knee. Try not to bend. And side, come on, we're nearly done. Five, four, three, two, and one. Guess what, other side, same thing. Come on, we can do this. You and me, we're strong. Ready, anchor the other leg, it's up and side, up, and side. Now, how wide apart are your legs? You should be feeling the tension even when it's in, okay? So even on the in, there's tension on that loop. Don't cheat. We're nearly done, 15 minute workout. Do not cheat. You're only cheating yourself, remember? Up and side, up and side. Come on, keep that up and side. And side, up, and side, come on. Eight, seven, six, five. We're lying down on our backs. Two and one. Lie down on your back. Heels together. I'm in the sun with my head. Heels together. Push against the heels and push out. That's all. Push out and out and out. Push against the heels. Out and out. I'm being nice to you. Just push and push and push. Abductions. Out and out. If you wanted to anchor your heels on a wall, you could do that. So that way you can focus even more on this pushing out. Youch. 
I thought I was being nice to you. Now I've realized I actually I'm not being nice to you because this burns. Out and out. Glute medius. Out and out. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're not done. This is the last exercise. Same thing, seated. Now, if you want to, you can just put your hands behind. Heels together, push out. If you wanted to make it harder, up on those hands. Squeeze your hips up towards the ceiling. So it's like a glute bridge, but in a kind of reverse plank modified position. Otherwise, you're down here and you're pushing the heck out of that loop so hard because you're pushing further and further out. Further and further out. This is the last exercise. Ah, no mercy. No mercy for those glutes. Ah, squeeze. Are you up here? All right. Come on. 10 seconds and you're done. Squeeze and squeeze. You wanted loop exercises? I gave you loop exercises, people. I deliver when you ask. Two and one. Okay, so you probably need a stretch after that. So I'm just going to do a quick figure four while I talk to you. How was it? <sighs> Elevating your glute bridge and adding a loop definitely got in there. But if you didn't find it hard enough, you can do even more. You don't have to just rely on the way I do the exercises. You could add ankle weights. You could add a weight on your hips when you're elevating. You can do so many things. If you're a super strong advanced exerciser, I expect that you're adding extra equipment to my workouts. Let's just sit in a straddle and kind of stretch through. And if you're not, um, then just think more about the squeeze because you can be going through an exercise and just kind of going through the motion or you can put your mind to the muscle, lean forward and you should feel that nice stretch through that side glute. You can put your mind to the muscle and really breathe into it and squeeze harder, other leg in front. And that will also increase the intensity. You'd be surprised how much more you feel it when you contract and focus on form and really think about what every muscle in your body is doing when you're doing an exercise. Hope you enjoyed it in a sadistic kind of way or masochistic kind of way. And I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye for now.